Hello YouTube, this is Killican, and what more can I say, people? It's happened. Took a little longer than I thought, but it's happened. For the better part of half a century, left-wing politicians, their corporate cronies, and their media puppets have been advancing their agenda by regurgitating the same ridiculous, though surprisingly effective, lie that anyone who thinks different from them is a racist. And if, God forbid, any non-white people aspire to conservatism, they are branded traitors and shouted down with names like Oreo and Uncle Tom. On a side note, both insults are out of place because A, Oreos are delicious, and B, if people would pain themselves to actually read Harriet Beecher Stowe's novel, they'd realize Uncle Tom was in fact a black Jesus, not the favor-currying collaborator the media has warped his name into meaning. But I digress. Since the election of 2016, the left wing has been in something of a desperate state of shocked denial. Not only did a Caucasian conservative not fold like a deuce before a full house at the first suggestion that him waving at a crowd of his fans held some kind of double meaning, but the people still voted for him, and he won the presidency. Ever since, despite clear evidence that a change in rhetoric was in order, the unholy trinity of politicians, corporations, and media have only doubled down. Despite all the polls, rating, and courtroom victories of the current administration, the vastly improved economy allowing ethnic minorities to find solid employment and stand on their own two legs instead of crawling on their knees to the welfare office for scraps, the left stubbornly clings to their delusions of moral and intellectual superiority. Denouncing Obama's leftover border policies as Trump's final solution, and conspiring with Google, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube to brand any statements not on the DNC spreadsheet as excerpts from Mein Kampf. Which kind of makes you wonder how long this video will stay up. YouTube, I will be timing. Much to their dismay, conservatives just smile and keep on coming. And what with their silver bullet no longer having the desired effect on their opponents, the frenzied left have now turned their sights on each other. That's right, outspoken activist barkeep turned house rep Cortez has leveled an accusation of racism against her own de facto party leader, Nancy Pelosi. The lynch mob has quite literally turned against itself, and I must say, I saw this coming a mile away. It's actually a very common trend in left-wing endeavors. Stalin did it. Hitler did it. Yes, he was a leftist, you history-denying twits. Mao Zedong, Pol Pot, and every other Marxist-inspired despot has made a show of turning on their own lackeys the minute they hit the first speed bump. The American left wing have definitely reached a turning point, even if they themselves haven't realized it. Is this a sign of their impending collapse? I doubt I'm that lucky. But they are long past the point of something having to give. And in closing, the only thing more ironic than Democrats accusing each other of racism is an idiot bearing the name of a conquistador calling herself a champion of racial equality. Thanks for watching. Peace out.